Good morning, everyone. Starting out with a little bit of cloudiness left over from the lake effect machine that's been cranking for the last three, four day period. We're still holding on to a few flurries from time to time, but I think today we'll not see the widespread snow shower activity like we've been seeing the last several days as we finally start to see things changing up for us a little bit. Temperatures, they're still chilly, only in the mid 20s this morning, but this is actually close to the average low for this time of year. The average high, that's a different story. It's 46. We'll be lucky to get to 35 or 36 as we head into your afternoon, placing us 10 degrees below the average. So we're still seeing the same exact pattern that we saw last weekend here on our Friday. We have northwesterly winds coming in over the relatively warmer waters of Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. You have the warmer temperatures that are below the colder temperatures aloft. That's an unstable situation. So what happens is that warm air rises and it cools and condenses and forms clouds and even spits out a few snow flurries from time to time. So that's why we're stuck in the clouds. And as long as we have this persistent northwesterly flow, we'll hold on to the clouds. And I think that's going to be the case through the weekend, but we'll see a little bit more sunshine than what we've been seeing earlier this week as we slowly see our winds changing a little bit more out of the north and then eventually out of the east by the time our next storm system arrives going into Sunday. So a mix of clouds and sunshine expected. High pressure is just to the west. It's got a short window of opportunity to give us some quiet weather before the next storm system arrives. It's to the southwest of Kansas City. Hasn't really moved out of the Rockies yet, but that one is going to likely give a lot of snow across Missouri into Illinois and Indiana, even into Ohio. The question is, is how far north does that snow make it when we head from Sunday night into Monday? And right now I think it gets to the state line, but if the shift in the track by about 100 miles or so, if that were to occur, then we could possibly see some accumulating snowfall for the Flint Metro as we go into Sunday night and Monday. So right now the thinking is it will stay south of us, providing just a few snow showers as we go from Sunday into Monday. But keep it here at NBC 25. You can also keep it at MyNBCNews.com and also look for updates on our NBC 25 Facebook page as we go into the weekend. Because if it were to snow, looks like it would be Monday that that would mainly affect us. And there could be several inches through central Ohio and Indiana. So if you have travel plans heading south Monday or Tuesday, heads up for that. And then we'll look for slightly warmer air moving in by the time we head to the middle and end of the work week next week. But we're still below average by next Wednesday and Thursday. Average temperatures are into the upper 40s.